Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. In this occasion I will be, uh, let me take this off first, yes in this occasion I will be um, continuing uh, a great tutorial uh, done by uh, Mr. Tallman Brad and uh, it's about the nanobot build and repair system. Uh, the one you can see in this large rectangle. This is extra exaggerated, <laughs> right? The part, um, yeah, it was it was done intentional. Um, what he done is uh, show you the absolute basics. Although he went through the whole thing in quite a detail, right? Uh, I'm not gonna show you the ins and outs of it because his video is quite is quite good. So I highly recommend it. I will leave a link on my description on this video so you can check it up. Uh, the purpose of this is just to show you uh, what a uh, build and repair can do in a mass scale. So what I'm going to do is jump into a control seat to gain access to um, the projector, the large grid projector, because what I'm going to do, I, I already uh, know which, build, which one I'm going to build. Uh, is a massive, massive uh, battle uh, battleship, right? Uh, it will span the whole thing, even to the edge of the uh, the uh, build and repair system. Okay, and then uh, I've got enough resources, and I have got enough assemblers, uh, hopefully, to maintain the production. Of components I do have enough ingots uh, I believe so I'm quite confident on that uh, I have never ever done something on this scale I literally started uh, with this side of it one side of it yeah and then I run out of uh, nanopods I it was going too slow then uh, when I uh, made it quite big uh, I did not have enough uh, assemblers Right, so now I beefed up the assembler production. Uh, I have linked the nanobot script to my assemblers via the group, and it's all ready. Uh, I've put a large screen, uh, a large LCD screen, um, linking the nanobot build and repair, and you will see it in action at the moment. Okay, so without further ado, I will load the the blueprint, press in the K, uh, go to projector, which is this one for me, uh, blueprint, um, and is the, what's the name of the thing? Let me load it for you guys. This one. No, this one. It is this one. The mark mark two. Okay, the bigger the bigger version. Okay, so uh, once I uh, well before I do this before I do this uh, as as a rule of thumb. I've got on my toolbox what exactly uh, Tom and Brad did, which is put in your hotbar the projection side of it. Okay, so I already know uh, the projection, right? So what I'm going to do, uh, uh, and on nine, I've got it, uh, the nanobots uh, on off. That is mega mega important because. If I put the blueprint up and running, as what he said, it will start printing. And if you haven't got it aligned correctly to your specifications, it will start building up uh, and it will be a mess because then for you to fix it means you have to destroy it, literally. Okay, so let me go in. 
Um, projector. Blueprints. It's loaded. So I know the I've done the um, the maths, and here is minus seven, minus seven, uh, minus eight, and fifty. Forward offset. Okay, that should be it. But you see those uh, pieces uh, remaining there, right? To solve that problem, what you do is connect, uh, disconnect, and reconnect the projector, and those artifacts will disappear, and it will relocate to the right place. Okay, so let's do that. So we've got projector on center. So I go on off, on off. Right, so it, it will keep the configuration, which is that's what I wanted, right? And then, voila, no artifacts. They have all gone to the right, uh, to the right, and new uh, position. Okay, so this is a clean configuration. Okay, so just to give you an idea on what we are talking about i'm gonna go quite high take my bar off just to give you an idea of the size of this beast look at that See, my base is not even long enough to accommodate it and i did a temporary one down there All right it's quite it's quite big I already, uh, you see the white, the white blocks there. I done that uh, beforehand, so I can align it properly. Right, it's dead on on the center. Right, so uh, the nanobots will start. Those are uh, the those two blocks would be the one first to be made, and then they will carry on like that right from the center, and then they work their way backwards or whatever. Okay, so. Uh, I can keep it keep the projection on or i'm just going to put the buildable one but i'm just going to give you an idea of the of the complexity of the ship brilliant ship right and let's put it on to production i'm going to take off the projection but i'm going to keep it buildable so you can see it being built as we go and see how fast it can build it uh, I'm very optimistic that it will right so build and repair K menu no I don't need that what I need is the menu bar right here <laughs> okay so I'm sorted. So as soon as I press number nine, the music will start. Okay, and then I will uh, fly backwards to to see. Oh, hold on. We we I said that I was gonna take it off the projection, right? Sorry, the blueprint. Uh, show only buildable. Right. This is what I was thinking about. Uh, shall we keep the projection yeah, just in case? Right? It shouldn't be a problem, but just in case. Right? So that's it. That's literally it. We are ready for for the big rollout. So I'm going to press uh, the number 9. So 3, 2, 1. On. Okay, so I get off here. 
Go up. Look at that. Quite impressive, isn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It works like a charm. Right? And also in the rear. Right? So as soon as you start bring, uh, building the rear, the rest of the nanobots on the right-hand side of the screen will start building it up like crazy. Three D printing. Who needs a three D printer with lots of uh, welders going, uh, uh, making, um, uh, what you call it, pistons and all kind of stuff? You don't need that. You need build and repair system. That is it. That is it. That's quite impressive build, isn't it? Quite fast. If you carry on like that, I would do it under, what, four or five minutes? And because I've got the script, uh, the build, build and repair script, it actually uh, sends to the assembler the necessary uh, component queue uh, to build what is needed to be built. Can you hear that? That is some serious aggressive building. Uh, I noticed something wrong here on the... These gyros should be pointing north. Uh, the one with the dash, the green dash, it should be pointing towards the front. In theory, right. That's the only thing about the uh, the large grid gyros that we we do have a a north, shall we say, or front. One would say that the front is fully built, correct? Yes, the the front is fully fully built. <laughs> impressive, impressive. Right, so now the the back is being processed as we speak. We got the antenna build. Come on, this is quite impressive build. I've done the nanobot build and repair um, a few times on, uh, on this platform, right? I've got there the Calypso 4 at the very end, which I uh, wasn't quite impressed with that build because it's got uh, four subgrids and apparently this one hasn't got any. What can I say? We are almost finished. So the assemblers are keeping up with the actual production. 
to be quite honest, is very, very, very uh, powerful setup. I don't know how long it has been, but I don't think it's been more than five minutes. Uh, my video is longer than five minutes because of my uh, silly ranted. But from the moment I started the build, it's, it has been quite, quite fast. Now it's almost finished. Look at that. Almost finished, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Almost finished. Less and less and less and less. Yes, none of them are firing. So that means <laughs> literally the, the, uh, the blueprint has been finished in probably record time less than five minutes and this is the result ladies and gentlemen right a very uh, rudimentary setup but bloody hell what an impressive build very very fast indeed Okay, so with that, this is only the video for uh, expressively to for the nanobot build and repair. I haven't got a clue on how to use the, uh, the spaceship, but that is a video for another occasion. So with that said. <laughs> and I was going to land it there. <laughs> oh, wait, I think I need a bigger uh, uh, landing pad. But yes, uh, I hope uh, you guys have uh, liked the build. Uh, the, the setup that I've got uh, to build it. And I will take it to a spin on a later time. So ladies and gentlemen... Thank you for being with me. Until next time. Bye-bye.